Hi, my name is Scott Arena from ChemScope. We're a small environmental consulting and training firm in North Haven, Connecticut. I have been invited down here by Michael Murphy of Murphy Brothers Contracting to give a little a discussion and question and answer to this new EPA law that's going to EPA thinks it's going to affect over 200,000 people with stiff penalties for non-compliance. Uh, this law will affect contractors who disturb lead-based paint in homes. So if you guys have any questions, I don't have an answer. Go ahead. Uh, who needs EPA certified renovator training? Anyone who works in homes or child-occupied facilities that are built before 1978, and anyone who disturbs for compensation greater than six square feet of paint on any one interior room or more than 20 square feet of paint on an exterior surface. Uh, or in, unless it's proven not to be lead-based paint. Okay. Um, I'm an architect and a construction manager. I'm just curious uh, who needs to get certified and, and how? How do you get certified? Um, well, again, uh, the same answer I gave before on the certification, but how you get certified is you have to, you can go to EPA's website and you can, um, yeah, it has to be done by an EPA accredited training provider with an EPA approved um, instructor. Okay, it's an eight hour training class. And then you get a certificate for that? Yeah, you actually get um, a training certificate with a little <coughs> photograph of yourself and the photograph and your date of birth and name has to be registered with the EPA on their central database exchange. Uh, database you have to they follow have. up the certification? The certification um, is good for five years. Uh, does every employee need to be certified? Um, no, not every employee needs to be certified. Every person on the job site does need training, though. Okay, there, there is, there needs to be one EPA certified renovator assigned to every project. The other people at the job site can be trained by the EPA certified renovator as uncertified workers. Okay. Is it the company or the individual that needs to be certified? Good question. Both the company and the individual need to be certified. The individual gets certified simply by taking the eight-hour <coughs> training. The company gets certified by filling out an application and sending that into EPA and paying a $300 fee. Yeah. What penalties might a contractor face for non-compliance? Uh, EPA says that the penalties are going to be up to $32,000 per violation. And if it's done knowingly or willingly, it will be uh, accompanied with possible prison time. Uh, yeah, wh where can I get more information on the lead RP rule? You can go to EPA's website at www.epa.gov and forward slash lead. And they have quite a, a database of information on that. Or you can, um, and you can look up on that website, there's a list of accredited training providers such as ChemScope. Who can you can call them as well and answer those questions? Can you estimate how many homes may still contain lead paint and how many contractors will be affected by the rule? Sure. Um, EPA says that there's over 38 million homes in our country that have lead-based paint. 24 million of those have a significant hazard, uh, lead paint hazard with them, and they think that over 200,000 people will be affected by this new law will need training. 200,000 contractors or homeowners? 200,000 individuals. Um, they don't speak to how many contractors will actually be affected by this. Thank you. Well, anybody else have a question? Scott, I have a question. Uh, which professions within the uh, contracting world will be affected by this? Well, that's a very good question. Lots of contractors will be affected. EPA says that window contractors, painters, and general remodelers will be the most heavily affected. But the list is, is long. It includes uh, demolition contractors, um, electricians, plumbers, um, weatherization people, uh, management companies, um, and it continues, including abatement companies. Uh, very good question. Thank you. 